The RAM, also known as the 6.5-inch anti-tank aircraft rocket or ATAR, was an air-to-ground rocket used by the United States Navy during the Korean War. Developed rapidly, the rocket proved successful but was phased out shortly after the end of the conflict. Topic: <laughs> Design and Development. In 1950, the outbreak of the Korean War resulted in the United States Navy urgently requiring an aircraft launch rocket that would be effective against enemy tanks, as the existing high-velocity aircraft rocket high-velocity aircraft rocket was expected to be ineffective against the armor of IS-3 heavy tanks. The development of an improved rocket was undertaken with remarkable speed. A directive to start work on the project was issued issued on July 6, 1950, and the first rockets were delivered to the war zone on July 29. Over the course of those 23 days, the Naval Air Weapons Station China Lake, located in China Lake, California, developed an improved version of the Havar, with a new, 6.5 inches shaped charge warhead replacing the earlier weapon's 5 inches charge. The fuse for the shaped charge, developed with the same haste as the rocket itself, was considered dangerous, but proved to be safe enough in service. It was described as being not as dangerous as the Russian tanks. It was designed to destroy. Claimed as being superior in armor penetration to the conventional 3.5-inch bazooka's warhead, which could penetrate 11 inches of armor, the ram's warhead was capable of penetrating 24 inches of armor plate. <laughs> Operational history Officially designated the 6.5-inch anti-tank aircraft rocket ATAR, and commonly known in service as RAM, the new rocket was rushed to the Korean front, being used in combat for the first time on August 16, 1950. Despite the haste with which the weapon had been developed, the very first shipment included a full set of documentation and firing tables for the use of the rocket. The first 600 rockets were constructed by hand, but a production line was rapidly set up. In operational service, the RAM was fitted to the P 51 Mustang, F 80 Shooting Star, and F 4U Corsair aircraft, and it proved to be moderately effective, with the first 150 rockets fired scoring at least eight confirmed kills of North Korean tanks. However, the rocket proved to be unpopular with pilots, due to the close approach to the target required for accurate firing execution. The Havar offered a longer range, while Napalm was considered more effective if the range had to be closed. With the end of the war in 1953, the ATAR was withdrawn from service, improved versions of the Havar having become available as an alternative. Topic. See also FFAR Tiny Tim rocket Bore rocket